We've been using technology at Topton Hall School for a number of years now and we use it specifically in an attempt to improve the quality of the teaching and learning that takes place across the curriculum in different lessons. Our specific aim is to improve the engagement of the students because if the students are engaged in the lesson they're more receptive to learn therefore progress takes place. We use a number of different strategies which can be seen on our website um, through the use of different web tools um, and predominantly try to encourage students to use their own mobile devices in order to engage more with what the teacher is asking them to do. Examples of these might be QR codes which students use predominantly for research purposes in order to find questions or even answers to questions or link them directly to websites. We also use Poll Everywhere where students can text answers to the teacher which are displayed at the front of the room. These can be multiple choice or prose style answers. And we also work with Twitter and in terms of encouraging students to feedback answers to questions in lessons and also to get feedback from the teacher in terms of their homework. Working from home is important and students do a lot of this and by encouraging students to engage with the technology we're able to communicate with them better at home and also encourage the parents at home to engage with their students learning as well. In terms of planning for the new equipment that we buy, uh, our whole strategic vision uh, from ICT's point of view, everything has to be central uh, around teaching and learning and faculties will bid for products and services that are beneficial to the teaching and learning in their, their, their areas. Whole school wise we've in, ensured that there is a, an effective whole school wireless network. Staff and students are now fully able to use their own devices and taking the learning out of the classroom as long as it's in the right direction is something that's very very important to us. Sixth form students haven't got the biggest core facility in our school because of the size of the sixth form. They're now able to bring their own devices in and able to access the curriculum and other learning tools effectively. We've also um, brought online a management system library and a video service called ClickView which brings the curriculum together. People are able to access all the services wirelessly and from home. In ICT we are in a state of great development at the minute. We're working very closely with the whole school philosophy of engagement of, of the learner at the centre of the teaching and learning that takes place. And in doing that we're uh, do, uh, making great strides in developing the curriculum across the key stages and incorporating a lot of new technology that we haven't used before. So for instance we have a lot of programming that's being inserted into the key stages. We currently use Microsoft's Kodu program. Um, this is freely downloadable as is all of the other resources that we use. We have a number of programs that we intend to use next year, some which are already coming online this year for our year eight groups and all of those allow the students not only to work collaboratively in the classroom but also to be able to freely download it at home, uh, work with their parents at home perhaps if they've got parents, certainly a number of parents have the IT interests and IT um, work in the IT industry. So there's a lot of linking there which we plan to use across the key stages uh, right up to key stage five. Central to what we do here at Tupton Hall is ensuring that everybody involved in the learning process has the availability of, of data of all types at all times. So it's really important for us that from the classroom right through the members of staff all the way to parents, everybody's able to see all the information required. So our, our management information system is available online for parents to access. Um, we've got the ability to see rewards in there, there's the ability to, for all members of staff to see data live. Parents are logging on at home and keeping track of their students at all times. About 55-60% of parents are now regularly using the online reporting system in school.